What's going on guys, Mr. Dalek JD here and welcome to a Call of Duty video where today I'm going to be showing you guys the new Advanced Warfare camo which has been added in game today for those that have pre-ordered the new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare game from Game or GameStop. If you want to get it in the UK, you can only get this camo exclusively with game pre-orders and if you want to check out the pre-order, I'll leave a link where you can go to the game website and pre-order the game there. If you pre-ordered the game, you'll get yourself a code which you can redeem on the Call of Duty website and it will actually unlock a personalization pack for Call of Duty Ghost and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into Call of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Ghost, we have a new player patch and background. The patch is a sentinel patch and the background is an image from the box art which says power changes everything. So jumping in game with the Advanced Warfare camo, we can see it here on the SA902 Assault Rifle. And to be honest, the Advanced Warfare camo isn't anything too uh, crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. To be honest, it's actually a fairly average looking camo in all honesty. We do have a pretty nice red dot sight there. It's actually the Task Force red dot sight. It's not that bad in all honesty. It's a pretty practical red dot sight. will help you aim uh, as the dot is in the middle. But in all honesty, for me, this camo could could have been a lot more exciting like advanced warfare screams futuristic uh, 2054 and this camo just honestly just looks like a typical white camo but if we want to jump onto some other weapons just to take a look at how it may look on the other weapons so this is the camo on the honey badger with again the red dot sight and on the honey badger it does look a little bit better we do have uh, some actual markings on the weapon so it's not just a complete white camo you have this kind of like strips of black along it in very weird uh, shapes and sizes not a bad camo on the honey badger definitely and same thing for the vector the camo does look a lot better on the vector than it did on the first weapon I showed you but all in all the camo isn't anything groundbreaking uh, as we thought but as I mentioned at the start of the video this is also available in Black Ops 2 and with this we get a, uh, a few different reticles to choose from so I'm going to show you guys them now. So on Black Ops 2 we do get a brand new player card and this again is just the image from the box art that you can see there. But let's jump straight into the game and show you what the camo looks like in Black Ops 2. So this is the camo in game without any reticles added onto it and it does look somewhat different than it does in Call of Duty Ghost. It's just going to have some more of a kind of grungier, darker tone than the pure white that we saw. But let's slap a few reticles on and see which ones are the most practical. So this is the EOTech site and this is the same task force site that you saw back on Call of Duty Ghost. A very practical site to use as the middle of the site is directly in the middle of this kind of helmet you can see here. And if I pop down the camo on Black Ops 2, you can see it looks a lot more grungier, a lot more darker than its Call of Duty Ghost counterparts. You can definitely see that there is a big difference in the actual look of the camo on both games. So the next reticle we got on is the red dot site, which is the Surge reticle, which in my opinion is the least practical as you've got this massive triangle in the middle of your screen when you might be trying to aim at someone. It's not exactly the most practical. Not too sure why it's linked into Advanced Warfare. Maybe we'll find out when the game comes out or why it's specifically a triangle but a pretty weird reticle at that and the last reticle here is on the ACOG site which is the vitality reticle and this again is a pretty practical one if you want to get your shots dead accurate in the middle of the site it's a pretty simplistic uh, reticle I'm surprised this sort of design hasn't been done before but it has now and I'm again not too sure how this links in with, with advanced warfare but there we go that was all three reticles on Call of Duty Black Ops 2 as well as the camo and red dot site on Call of Duty Ghost. Do let me know your honest opinions of this down below in the comment section. Let me know if you've pre-ordered the game and you received this today and uh, if this uh, it, it is an exciting camo for you and was worthy of your pre-order because if I'm completely honest I was going to think that there was going to be a more exciting camo to link in with Advanced Warfare seeing as how exciting the game looks on the trailers and stuff like that. Who knows the design may link into something later on down the line when we get more info about Advanced Warfare but if you enjoyed it and found it informative I'd really appreciate it if you could just spend a second clicking the like button that would be really really appreciative and make sure to subscribe to keep yourself updated with the latest call of duty information thank you for watching and i'll see you soon